A U.S. Senate staffer who worked in Maryland Senator Ben Cardin's office is out of a job after video allegedly shows him having sex inside of a Judiciary Committee hearing room. Aiden May Swarovski re reportedly recorded himself in the act. Uh, Senator Cardin released a statement confirming that he is no longer employed by the U.S. Senate but did not elaborate any further. That former staffer also released a statement admitting he showed, quote, poor judgment. We've learned that there will be no charges for the former Senate staffer who made a sex tape inside of a hearing room. Capitol Police closed that investigation into the former aide to Maryland Senator Ben Cardin. A spokesperson for the senator said, quote, Senator Cardin thanks the Capitol Police for their service, period. No comment about the no charges, no comment about this case, and nothing to say about this resigned staffer who resigned over this now infamous adult video that was filmed inside a U.S. Senate hearing room. Now, U.S. Capitol Police in their statement themselves said today that despite a likely violation of congressional policy, there is currently no evidence that a crime was committed. Now, the hearing room was closed to the public when this happened, but police say the ex-staffer did have access to that room. Well, some folks at the U.S. Capitol told Fox 5 today not filing charges in their view was the wrong decision which sends the wrong message. Yeah, I definitely feel like there should have been some kind of punishment for that behavior. That's not the place or the time to be doing something like that. Mm -hmm. Nor should it be recorded. Nothing ever happens mm -hmm. to any of these guys mm -hmm. for anything they do wrong. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter, Republican, Democrat. No, he no should have been charged because there would have been anybody else. They would have been charged. Now, the sex tape was shot in one of the most secure hearing rooms on Capitol Hill. We're talking about Heart 216. This is a room that can be literally sealed on all sides for the, some of the most sensitive intelligence briefings. Now, Jeff James, a retired U.S. Secret Service agent, says, yes, law enforcement experts can debate whether or not charges should have been filed in this case. However, he says what's not debatable is that security changes need to be made in light of this incident. Well, it might be the point where the Capitol Police says, you know, we as a federal entity aren't going to charge this, but maybe in the future we hand it to the D.C. police for a local charge of lewdness or indecent conduct or something like that. So that, that's a possibility that, that could happen. Now, when this case first broke, Senator Cardin said that he was angry, he was disappointed, and called it a, a breach of trust. U.S. Capitol Police also revealed today that not only the former staffer, but another person of interest invoked their Fifth Amendment rights and refused to speak to police. Senate <laughs> staffer caught filming gay sex tape in Senate hearing room graphic. The image is blurred heavily. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not blurred all the over. Whole image, <laughs> not just, the whole Thank, image is blurred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just the, you know, <laughs> not quite blurred enough. <laughs> so uh, they know who this guy is now. His name is flying all over the place. There's that wasn't everything flying all over the place, dude. The, wow, they, the daily the Daily Caller posted the video of it. Like it's That's it's everywhere. On, it's uh, everywhere sadly, dude. on social media. What was this uh, guy? This this guy needs to get like I don't know, man, twenty years. Like like you know we, we're talking about they want to lock up Enrique Tario. He wasn't even in D.C. Mm. on January six, and I'm like, this is a guy who probably broke so many laws. He's got to get locked up. It's not just him. It's it's two guys. And they're enjoying each other's company quite a great deal, if you know what I'm saying. I'm filming it in the Senate hearing room. I'm not like bullish on law on lawfare and warfare through law, but like at some point you got to make a precedent. Don't do this kind of thing on the Senate hearing floor. I just guys, when I said 2024 was going to be crazy, I did not see this one coming. I, I thought it was going to be like. A journalist gets woken up at six in the morning and Did they like not see this one coming. You're just asking. You just got puns left and right tonight, man. Did they come on? I'm going to get right to the point. Uh, it's come to my attention that you and the cleaning woman have engaged in sexual intercourse on the desk in your office. Is that correct? Who said that? She did. 
Was that wrong? <laughs> Should I not have done that? I tell you, I gotta plead ignorance on this thing because if anyone had said anything to me at all when I first started here that that sort of thing was frowned upon. <laughs> you know, because I've worked in a lot of offices and <laughs> I tell you, people do that all the time. So. <laughs>